the 622 Educational Foundation is uh, very important to the city of Oakdale. We really have been around for 10 years. Oh, I think it's fabulous for the foundation that they've been so successful. It would be difficult to um, even summarize all the different things that have been done. Between Jim Stallman and Mike White, they were the founders. Can I talk about Mike White? Dr. Mike White was the most energetic superintendent I've ever seen in my life. Mike White was the form, our former superintendent that started the foundation in our district. When Dr. White came as the superintendent, he decided that we needed to really get going and do something with this foundation. And Stallman was the one that really had all the business connections. But we didn't get started until Dr. White came along. My favorite grant that I've written that the foundation has funded is called a bird watching station. The grant provided for the lumber and we built tree stands and the labor then was provided from Century College students. After the Christmas season all my students and whoever else had an old Christmas tree brought them in and we made a forest outside my classroom window and we created a winter bird feeding station. So I submitted a proposal to the foundation to um, build a boat at our school. We initially had an idea to put on an event. It's like a, a little mini problem they put on for senior citizens. It was called the National Veterans History Project. It was really interesting to, um, to learn about it. We, we found a picture of, of his ship on the internet after it got hit and that was really cool. I applied for this grant and wanted to receive some drums. They arrived with your award and balloons and they came in with the balloons and with there's this big check and these balloons. And two years ago I had a parent come up to me and say that his son Jack was at the state fair and I don't know if you've ever been to the DNR booth but there's a big one with all the birds on it and you can match up and the light goes on and Jack was the quickest and got the 100% and the DNR said to him, wow how do you know all those and he said from Mrs. Cranston in second grade. The idea behind a lot of the foundation grants is to sustain this. So we were able to not only build the boat, but we raffled it off at our carnival, use that money to build the boat the following year. The teamwork that it evolves from this is amazing. Check the website for more info. Students are really presented a lot of opportunities if they're into sports. However, I think there should be more focus on academics. There are ways to be acknowledged as a teacher. There's none that has been more rewarding and more gratifying than to be invited to the STARS Banquet. And that really is an honor to be invited um, by these students. I asked Stan Rosen. Uh, I was fortunate to be at one of the first uh, special events, the STARS Banquet. He was my marketing and DECA teacher and really helped me break out of my shell. I gave the graduation speech too and I loved it. Well, as a parent, of course, you just glow with pride. For more info, check the website. The Angel Fund is a fund that is given to each school, um, given to the principal to designate for use for students that don't have, um, can't afford maybe certain things that, that they need. Our school spends our Angel Fund dollars on many different things. Uh, I do like the Angel Fund. I think that's very important. We help students to be successful at school. Check the website for more info. The real surprise for me though was not so much that the children expressed themselves as that the community has responded with um, such interest, great interest and great empathy and it's heightened their awareness so the benefit has really gone both ways. People move to a certain place because of the good school district that's in it. I hope that the foundation only continues to grow in the coming years. When people move into a community, they check all this out. I think when you have visual things like a boat being built in the hallway, um, that people and you have a sign hanging there supported by the foundation, people start begin to realize that this is a very wise use of some philanthropic money. People like myself who put the foundation in their will. Uh, maybe they can't afford to give you the money right now, but just remember the foundation in your will. Then we can get some nicer chunks of money. Uh, after all, public education is the 
cornerstone of the United States of America. It's what, it's what the whole country is all about. Teachers are, are the magic makers in this school district and the foundation's giving them a tool. It's a, it's a long range deal where, where we'll reap the benefits for years and years to come. As a banker by trade, um, you know that everything you invest early makes the economic wheels turn a little faster. School life without the foundation would become more gray. I think the foundation adds the rainbow in our district. Thank you, 622. Thank you, 622. Thank you, 622. For more info, check the website.